It gives me immense pleasure to extend my warmest greetings to all the participants of the Project Expo 2024. I'm really excited to see some of the exhibits that has been you know, displayed there. There are, I understand there are 150 plus projects that are being displayed. Unfortunately, I couldn't spend time to see each one of them. And I know that each one of them are very exquisitely crafted, worked upon by you to create this idea and displayed here. My congratulations first to each, to each one of you for putting that hard effort to make it uh, uh, no, display today. Congratulations first and my um, claps to each one of you for your hard work. Those few numbers which I went through and uh, no, un tried to understand uh, really uh, inspired me because each one of you have taken effort to understand the background of the work uh, and also to create something new to showcase some of your innovative ideas into the project work and to display it in a manner that will be appeasing to, uh, appealing to each one of us. And in a college environment, in an institution environment, this itself is really great uh, for an institution like MVJ College of Engineering, which has been working in this sector for very long years. I should congratulate you also for coming up with ideas like Expo, uh, Project Expo like this, where the, the classroom knowledge and the experiential learning elements are combined together to create some projects of this nature where the students will get exposed to the understanding on how to build systems, how to build complex projects, how to work in a team. I think all of this will be really, not really taught, but experientially learned in the whole process of doing these projects. I think this is the benefit of such a project and uh, I really congratulate everyone for something to do like this. I feel very pleased and privileged to release this book, Beyond Boundaries, a collection of innovative ideas. Why I say this is, this is particularly a book resulting from the contributions by our students and faculty members, and they have brought out number of innovative projects as a result of Expo 2019 we conducted almost five years back. I am sure that this project, we wanted to do this Expo almost once in two years or at a frequency which is convenient, but then because of the COVID we could not pursue. And I am very happy that today 20, 2024 is reality. And I think as somebody mentioned that more than 400 projects came, but then through the filtering we are able to bring 148 and I am sure that the ones which are not here, also very innovative, but then for various reasons we have to limit because of the various other constraints. But then I must take this opportunity to congratulate each one of you who has the opportunity to display here, who did not get an opportunity to display here, as well as compliment and congratulate all the faculty members, mentors, the management who really made it possible to fructify and I can tell you this is a different era where engineering education happens. In terms of this uh, important aspect, emerging science cutting across disciplines and creating disruptive solutions. I think uh, Honorable uh, Sri Somnath and, uh, and Professor Suresh actually mentioned about this. The whole focus today in, uh, in 2024 is this enormous work that is happening in terms of disruptive solutions and creating uh, new enterprises. I have been associated with MEJ for the uh, last few years and I am always kind of impressed by the amount of effort the college puts in in terms of promoting technology and innovation among the students and this
Project Expo is particularly a step in the, in the right direction in uh, uh, giving an opportunity for the students to showcase their talent and to uh, you know, showcase their innovation projects to a larger audience. With all humility, I'm going to talk what is I'm known for today for 20 years in automotive industry while I started as a scientist. But you know, please look at what I'm going to talk about is how is technology impacting the customer and what you as engineers, when you know, Dr. Suresh said that, you know, we have to impact not just, uh, we have to impact exponentially is what he said. But for me, I think there are two people who actually help us and inspire us to impact. One is God and second is customer. Uh, TAPAS is a uh, medium altitude long endurance UAV. TAPAS stands for uh, acronym uh, Tactical Advanced Platform for uh, Aerial Surveillance. Uh, it is a multi mission UAV which has got uh, a number of uh, roles uh, starting from uh, intelligence gathering, uh, surveillance, recognizance, target acquisition, and target recognition. The idea of this panel session is that we have three eminent personalities representing in the panel and each one of them, they have vast experience and very carefully we have picked up. I really do think this type of platform, this project based platform is far more helpful for you uh, to understand the complexities of uh, problems in the real world. So I think one of the great things under Dr. Suresh's leadership that we have tried to initiate here at MBJ is more uh, structured um, uh, project-based learning. So I think this is something that is showing up as being extremely useful. So I think the one immediate recommendation would be we should be doing this more so. Uh, find as many opportunities as we can. See, ultimately, uh, the colleges and other things are only gateways. Where you will get introduced a subject, you will get introduced to a couple of people. Dr. Suresh mentioned about multidisciplinary. Other judges mentioned about entrepreneurship. When such kind of lax and lots of colleges are there across the country, maybe crores of the students are coming out for a period of time, if not in a year. The ultimate achievement is what? You have to lead your life. People have multiple ideas, no question. But then the point is that those ideas really don't matter if it's not useful to anybody, right? Or it is not really solving a problem. So I think that you need to take that extra effort. Yes, you get an idea, but please take that extra effort to figure out is that really a problem or it is a fancy thing to have, right? So there is a way, there, is, there are a set of problems that people want, there are a set of problems that people need. So you need to understand very clearly is it basically a problem, a solution that is needed or wanted, okay? So a lot of collaboration is happening across students which is the best part which I'm seeing right now. I think the expo was really good, especially the sessions were really good and apart from that over here in, in terms of the stalls, I think uh, the ideas are varied and they're also very, uh, they seem to be a genuine nature in terms of solving 
uh, the real life problems and some of these are really good so it is a really an excellent work done by the college truly at a state level what i expect is from the next year onwards they should go to the national level